<laughs> All right, what we're looking at is really hot and humid and muggy. Yeah. I mean, if you go outside, you're just literally going to feel it. It feels like a tropical environment. And the problem with that is once you get a tropical setup like this, lots of humidity, lots of heat, you can spark up storms that have a lot of rainfall associated with them, excessive rainfall possibility. And so that's what we're looking at going into tonight. Right now, it's just kind of hazy, hot, and humid out there with temperatures in the mid-80s, plenty of sunshine. Um, but the sunshine is actually going to help lead to additional instability going into the nighttime time period when the storms are expected to roll on through. Because they could contain excessive rainfall, we have got a flash flood watch up and this is going to be for any of the counties shaded in green. Problem is the threshold's a little lower around the Fox and Des Plaines River Valleys to even get to flash flooding. That's because we've already got a lot of standing water due to what we had last week. So at this point, we really need to be concerned with those areas and anybody again shaded in the green has the potential to see that heavier rainfall. Big picture is going to show you a big mass of heat down to the south and that's just really leading to uh, at least us getting a portion of that heat and humidity. It's not really leading to much storminess right now. You can see down along 65. We've got a little bit of shower activity uh, south important portions of northwest Indiana. We've got a little bit of light shower activity, even some isolated thunderstorms down along 55, but pretty much south of Kankakee County. Watch though as we go through the future cast. We go into tonight. This is at 11 o'clock tonight. Real heavy stuff up to the north. Also not good because as that rain heavy stuff falls across parts of Wisconsin, it's got to go down the rivers again. So keep that in mind as we go through the next few days. But we may see our own brand of very heavy rain coming through during the overnight period. This is at 1.30 at night. We've got a trailing end here of some shower and storm activity that could contain torrential rainfall. This is at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we're going through here uh, through time with essentially drier conditions into Saturday, maybe just a few scattered storms on Sunday. Severe weather uh, in terms of today, the Storm Prediction Center has put us at a slight risk of severe storms today, mainly from damaging winds and hail. We just have to keep a possibility open that there could be some tornadic activity as well. But for the most part, those would be the two main threats. Enhanced zone is back from Rockford, stretching back on off to the north and west of that. Already feeding the beast here with the heat and humidity. It's 84 degrees at Midway. It's 82 for Joliet, 80 for Aurora and McHenry, 82 degrees Waukegan, and about 84 for O'Hare. The heat is intense, though, to the south and west, as I mentioned. That is the main problem for those folks. It's going to be 101 in St. Louis today, 98 degrees Kansas City, 95 Little Rock, 100 for Dallas. We're kind of just outside of the zone of the intense heat, but we still have have our own brand of very tropical like weather. You're going to have those showers and storms possible after about two o'clock today. The scattered stuff comes first and then the heavier, more intense activity will come later on into the evening and overnight period. The flash flood watches up until nine o'clock Saturday morning. At that point, we really expect everything to be pretty much gone and tapered off, um, but we are looking at calmer weather next week, so we should get a chance to relax a little bit mm -hmm. going into next week. However, next 24 hours, we really need to be weather, weather aware. aware. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Big time. All right, Meg, thanks. Yep.